you're welcome to my channel uh, let's look at some question approach in Uganda Nippon yeah so this question goes like throughout the 1990s the government of Uganda carried out several reforms in the financial sector and one of the reforms was liberalization of interest rate using clear diagrams and examples where applicable explain why this reform was necessary and it is eight marks so they they, they say that in the 1990s the government of uganda exercised what was called liberalization of interest rates liberalization of interest rates it's when you let the interest rates to be determined by the market forces of demand and supply instead of the government instead of the government fixing a particular interest rate in in the days of Amin, he used to fix everything so in the 1990s they decided to make some reforms and they stopped fixing the interest rate and they liberalized it to be determined by the market forces of demand and supply so the asking using clear diagrams and examples where applicable explain why this reform was necessary why was it necessary to liberalize the interest rates yeah so you start you answer money markets are prior to reforms heavily regulated by the government yeah, so the bank of uganda used to fix interest rates charged by commercial banks often at relatively lower rates than the market clearing rates are shown in that diagram so like back then when the when the government of uganda used to the government of Uganda or the Bank of Uganda, when they used to set the interest rate, it used to be below the normal interest rate. And this is the diagram. The diagram, it shows the interest rate. This is the demand curve for credit. This is the supply curve for credit. The x-axis shows credit and then the y-axis shows interest rate. So here, it is the equilibrium the interest rate that is determined by market forces of demand and supply it is this one which is RE it is this one then the interest rate that is determined the interest rate that is determined by the Bank of Uganda that used to be determined by the Bank of Uganda was this one it is below the normal interest rate the normal interest rate which is at the equilibrium level yeah, so when when the Bank of Uganda used to determine the interest rate, it used to be below the normal interest rate. So they used to determine or they used to fix a lower interest rate. Yeah, so it, it used to be at this level. So where we have LS, LE, and then LD. Then the explanation RM, RM is the interest rate set by the government this one it is the interest rate set by the government and this is the interest rate set by the market forces of demand and supply yeah then the you 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 talk about the likely effects of of the government set setting the interest rate and it is the reason as to why the liberalization of interest rate was necessary you talk about the effect of fixing the interest rate by the Bank of Uganda. First is that when they fix the interest rate as we've seen, the interest rate that was fixed was below the normal interest rate that is supposed to be there. So there will be a decrease in supply of credit. Since the interest rate that is determined is lower, even the suppliers of credit or loans, they will reduce. Yeah. Then there, there will be increase for demand for credit. Once the interest rate is low, of course everyone will demand for okay most people will demand for the credit yeah so there will be in, increase in the demand for that credit but there will be a decrease in supply of the credit then a uh, shortage for credit will also be there or credit crunch since there is a sub a, a, a decrease in the supply of credit due to the low interest rate that used to be set by the bank of uganda so there would be shortage of credit and then uh, credit rationing 
credit rationing due to shortage of credit leading to reduction in investments yeah so the the since, since there will be a shortage in supply of credit the government may come in itself and it start giving credit to people yeah since other banks they do not want to give out credit due to the low interest rates then increased unemployment increased unemployment once the interest rate is low and there is a decrease in the supply of credit so a few people will have access to capital or a few people will get capital to invest so the investment will be low and once the investment is low even unemployment will be high then uh, social political unrest will increase due to the high unemployment and then lastly increased poverty so these are the reasons as to why the, the liberalization of the interest rate was necessary you give the effects of fixing the interest rate that used to be fixed by the bank of uganda so because of all this they had to stop fi fi fixing the interest rate and then liberalize it to be determined by the market forces of demand and supply